Sasuke said he was going to sever his bond with me and become stronger. And that I could never understand his feelings. Hey, you were friends with Orochimaru way back, right, Pervy Sage? Why did he desert the village and decide to destroy the Hidden Leaf? Orochimaru went through a profound change after both his parents were killed. And that's when he became obsessed with forbidden jutsu. I don't know if he was trying to resurrect his parents or to wreak vengeance on the village that he held responsible for their deaths. My parents weren't killed, so... Like you, I was accused of not being able to understand anything about him or his feelings. Perhaps he was right, and I didn't understand a thing about him after all. Even I'm able to see that there's entirely too much hate in this shinobi world of ours. There's too much hate? Uh, I've always wanted to do something about all of this hatred. I'm just not quite sure how to go about it as of yet. But I truly believe that eventually the day will come when all people will understand one another and live in harmony. Boy, it sounds kind of complicated to me. And if I can't find the solution to this problem, then perhaps I'll entrust you to find it instead, eh, Naruto? Yes, sir! I can't turn down a request from my master, can I, Pervy Sage? <laughs> what? What the hell's so funny about that? Your smile is my salvation, Naruto. Huh? <laughs> I'm very glad I made you my student. Yeah? You really are? But I haven't given up on doing it myself just yet, you know. Huh? I still plan to change this world with my books. With those books you don't sell, you mean? Fool! They'll be bestsellers before you know it. And when the day finally arrives, I won't autograph your copies even if you beg me to. I don't want your stupid autograph anyway. I don't want that anyway. Because you gave me something much more valuable. Thank you.